Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect. And this here is Amawan from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad. Coming back to do another lesson through the Holy Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. This book of Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 27 it says, Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone it will return upon him. And if I could, if I may, just look up some um, translation comparisons for this precept. And it says in the ASV, no, no. Oh, Alright, I will read from the NLT. It says, If you set a trap for others, you will get caught in it yourself. If you roll a bowler down on others, it will crush you. <laughs> it will crush you instead. And, hey, that is that is so, alright? Um, HNV, whosoever digs a pit shall fall into it. Whosoever rolls a stone, it will come back on him. RSV says, he who digs a pit will fall into it, and a stone will come back upon him who starts rolling it. And this is for the Edomite, right? Um, you're digging a pit for us. Because right now, your main problem is this truth, all right? Your main enemy is the things being said. Black Lives Matter is bought and paid for. Black Panthers bought and paid for. Black Unconscious Community bought and paid for. Christian Organization bought and paid for. And there are even some Israelite camps that are bought and paid for. But you see, the men of Great Millstone, we get them with the, the, the sincere men. Beginning with the apostles on them and the sincere camp guy. There are some men in Great Millstone who will. Because when you watch um, the show, what is his name, right? Judas and the Black Messiah. He saw us, you know, send men in the organization to try and learn things which you can't learn nothing from. You. We don't deal with guns and drugs and things. You just deal with the scriptures. He even sent a man down here in Trinidad to come in and try and infiltrate us, but you know, he, he, he couldn't find anything on us because all he does do is read the Bible. But the sincere men in this in this thing, we in this for real. Alright? And oh, hopefully I sincere, but they, they would be in this for real. The sincere Akiam, the sincere men. And this truth is what is hurting this man. To the core, alright? He the problem is not against ja Grandmaster Flash or whoever he, Grandmaster J or who did come up the other day talking shit. His problem is not against them. His his problem is against words. You speaking words that could hurt him. That is his problem right now. So he he's trying to set up a trap. For the men who speak in words, he's trying to come against them. Right? For the, for, the, for the preachers against Babylon. The opposers against the American way. He's trying to come up against them. Digging a pit. But he, he says, go fall into your own pit where he dig. And the stone where he roll in and go crush your own head. So I say that, right? to say this I watched this movie last night right and this is on a lady called Mildred Gillers now Mildred Gillers this is the name of the movie right here right American Traitor American Traitor Came out in 2021, starring Al Pacino, you know, and 
I don't know the lady name who acted in it. The actress's name, I, I don't know. Um, they ain't saying here. There's no Meadow Williams, Al Pacino, Lala Kent, Thomas Kretschmann, Mitch Pledgy, no Pelegi, so forth and so on, right? I ain't gonna go into all of that. But, and the trial of Axis Sally. No, it's all kind of thing. It have all kind of things to make movies on. Why is this movie? Why a movie concerning somebody who orally came up against or orally was seeming to be against the American way? And when you watch the movie, you just go read what she did. When you watch the movie, this man here, Mitch P Pelegi, Mitch Pelegi, he acted as the opposing lawyer who came up against Axis Sally. And the way how he was getting on is like he wanted she dead. She's a she's a traitor. And that is high class treason. If I don't know if I didn't say that treason. I don't know what to say again. And she needs she need to be find she guilty, find she guilty. She begging the jury to find she guilty because she was being evil to the American way and the American way of life. And she caused men to die. She was promoting propaganda for the Nazis. No. Against the Americans, no. This movie is based on a true story but the thing is why make this movie in this kind of time when you have all these men all these people outside here speaking against the american way speaking against the wickedness of the united states to eventually call you and say you're, you're committing treason all right this is Esau again laying his digging his pit. But the scripture says, surely the in vain is the net set in the sight of any bird. And the scripture also says, um, lest Satan, Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Alright? 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. And um, Proverbs 1 and 17. The first one I quoted in Proverbs 1 and 17. The last precept I quoted was 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. Now, American traitor, the trial of Axis Sally. Let me read the synopsis of this movie. And it says, after being forced by Nazis to sing defeatist war propaganda, Mildred Gillers is captured by American authorities and sent to trial. After agreeing to defend Mildred Gillers, lawyer James Lachlan struggles to redeem her reputation. Now, let me go on Britannica. Right? Let's go on Britannica and read about the same Mildred Gillers. Right? Mildred Gillers, American traitor. She was a traitor to the United States. And guess why? Mildred Gillers, by name Axis Sally, born November 1900, um, American citizen who was a radio propagandist for the Nazi government during World War II. Right? So let me get to the point. Right? It says, during World War II, her voice became known to many thousands of U.S. servicemen who heard her on shortwave radio playing nostalgic American songs and speculating about the fidelity of the wives and sweethearts whom the soldiers, sailors and airmen had left behind in the United States. So it's like she playing, she's singing, she's singing for the Germans to try and weaken the American boy's mind. That is what when she came back in the States, they were saying to try and weaken their mind into thinking we were over here fighting war 
and my bird might be home sex in the next man. <laughs> Using propaganda, right? Just before the Allied invasion of Normandy in 1944, Axis Sally, an American appellation, she introduced herself in her sultry voice simply as Sally. Broadcast a demoralizing and exaggerated account 